my own bathroom story. We had to uh, speak at a sales conference. You know, you have to do those things sometimes. <laughs> you like the hat? It's kind of I like a bear like that. I like that. This is one of my many looks. Um, and right before that, we this was about 7 a.m. And remember, we had to fly from Memphis to this place. And I remember I had to go to the restroom. And, and you know how you can see that little place beneath the stalls? Yeah. Well, I noticed that this guy in this next stall was really wearing strange shoes. Some nice pumps, I bet. Really nice pumps. And, and more, more strangely than that, he had on hose. Oh, God. And this was back when my hair was really long. People ask me why I got a haircut. Yeah, I, I really got sick of being asked if I was a professional wrestler. This is true. Kind of look like one. Anyway, I had long hair, and I was in this elegant hotel ladies' bathroom. And I we started understand. looking at the, at, at the spaces between the doors <laughs> out, trying to see if I could see anybody. And there was all these <laughs> women putting on their makeup, looking at the mirror. And here I was. <laughs> You know, just kind of peering at them oh, out of the cracks. I guess they could see my feet, and I had on high top tennis shoes. Oh, <laughs> I know they must have thought that woman had really big feet. Yeah. But I couldn't get out of this place, and I had to go speak at this sales conference. We kept waiting for him out in the hall. But anyway, I crawled under the wall of the bathroom stall. I'm a poet. And I found the, the toilet tissue, and I stuck it up under my arms and stuff. And I busted out of the door and acted like the janitor. And all these women <laughs> saw me there. And I just kind of, you know, walked up to the, the oh. counter and stuck a couple rolls there on the counter. <laughs> and I hit the door. I just turned around and threw it all back in there. You're